Okay, this here is a Scone Head Road. It actually starts as you're leaving Bar Harbor on Route 3 and the Otter Creek Road. You're going to go up a hill as you're leaving, going past the ball field. At the top of that hill is Jackson Laboratory. Well, just before Jackson Laboratory, there's a left. That left will bring you down the school to Head Road. And you follow the school to Head Road all the way down for a ways, and you gotta come to an odd four way intersection with stop signs. And if you go left at that intersection, that takes you to Schooner Head. The locals like to park up here during thunderstorms and watch the lightning from Schooner Head parking lot. It's also the site of Animon Cave. The park stopped listing that on their maps and they took down all the signs because they don't want people finding it anymore. But it's an old sea cave that you can actually walk down to and go inside of and explore around a little bit. Slippery as hell, but a really cool adventure. And we will show you how to get to that cave in a moment. And here's the Schooner Head Overlook parking lot, which is just a few car lengths beyond that intersection. No mention of no sea cave here. Okay, from the parking lot, there's a little sign here. Used to tell about the cave. Doesn't anymore. There's no mention of it anyway here anymore. The park doesn't want people going down to it. They don't want people exploring it. They don't want people knowing about it. But now you know how to get there if you follow this video. And that fence and that little path there will take you right down. To the roof of the cave. Here's the view as you're coming near the end of the trail where it ends by the cliffs and the ocean. And that part jutting out right there, that is actually the top of the sea cave. Right there. Down below. And right there is the opening of the sea cave. A little dark spot right there. Pretty good view from here. Now, years ago, the park used to have a marked trail with railings to the right of this, where we're standing right now, on the right side of the cave. That used to lead right down into the cave. But because so many people got trapped in there as the water was coming up, and they had to do rescues, plus people were falling and getting injured, and some um, sea life was being disturbed, I guess. The park discontinued this, and it's no longer on any signs or maps in the park. So since the railing has been removed, you don't want to go down from the right. You want to go to the left of the cave, and you want to make your way down right over there, which is where we're headed. Okay, right here, you're just about on the roof of the cave, and you want to move to the left. It's kind of like a, right, a rough trail up here, a little hiking trail you follow. You can find a gully that's going to go down, and it'll kind of like slope down to the right, right toward the cave opening. Okay, just a short ways down that, that dirt trail, you're going you're gonna to come to this gully. And it slopes down toward the ocean. And the sea cave is right down there around the corner the opening to it. So that's where we want to go is down this gully. 